this is as far as guys who are on the Pro Tour. This is kind of like the Super Bowl, I guess, for you guys. So, uh, what uh, what was your initial reaction when you found out that you had, uh, you know, secured one of those three qualifying spots? Uh, I was very excited. Um, actually, you know, coming down the stretch, you know, I came in. There was about two or three groups left, and uh, the tension was kind of building. There was a 135 in, and a uh, uh, 142. Uh, along with my score and uh, as soon as the last couple groups came in and I noticed uh, that the uh, 142 would do it I was just pumped. Uh, you shot it very very well obviously uh, during those two rounds I believe you shot a 69 and a 73 and during uh, the spring you averaged a little over a 74 at IPFW I guess what what was kind of working for you uh, in those two rounds? Well I've been working a little bit you know certain things in my swing um, just kind of getting a, a, a pull, a tendency pull, kind of getting that out of the, the works there because that'll kind of lead to my bogeys. So um, just kind of working on that, and I switched to a belly putter. I used to putt with a belly putter, but I'd never been fitted for one. So when I got fitted, that made all the difference in the world. And uh, those are really, you know, just a couple key points that are just, you know, making my scores get lower and lower. Do you feel like uh, you've still got a little time before this event gets going, but do you feel like you're, you're playing some of your best golf right now as, as you get ready for it? Um, yes and no. Like I said, I mean, I'm working on a couple things in my swing, and, um, you know, the more I limit those, you know, certain areas, the lower I'm going to, you know, shoot. So um, also the mental part of it, you know, that's a huge, huge part, you know, that I'm, I'm really focusing on this. And, you know, these upcoming weeks coming into this tournament, you know, knowing that I belong, you know, at the tournament, you know, getting mentally focused that, you know, when I get there, um, you know, you're going to be nervous. But, you know, if you pre prepare yourself, you know, for those nervous moments, you know, you know, certain checks in your swing, um, you can overcome those, you know, obstacles. You talked about how important it is to know that you belong in that group. When you look back and say, hey, you know what, I, you know, opening round of qualifying, I shot a 69. Do little things like, do you need to remind yourself of that along the way? Yeah, that, that helps. And, um, but, I mean, it's golf. And, I mean, you can go out there and shoot 79 and then next round shoot 65. So, you know, that's the, uh, that's the cool thing about golf. And uh, you have highs and lows. So um, as long as you stay mentally focused and, you know, focus on, you know, the, the positives, you know, the lower numbers will come. Cherry Hills, what do you know about the what do you know about the course? Do you feel like it's a course that's going to play to your strengths? You know, I've looked at the course a little bit. Um, I just have a little bit different strategy. You know, I work on you know my game. Um, I don't really look at the course a whole lot until I get there. So um, that's just the way it's always been. Um, how I prepared for them. You know, I work on you know the things I want to work on, and when I get there, it's uh, it's game time. So. Uh, we know the elevation in Colorado is, is going to impact things. Uh, how much time are you going to have to, to make adjustments before things get going? Okay. Um, I believe we have two practice rounds, and then we'll go into two medal rounds, which is basically stroke play, and then we'll go into match play. So we'll have two good rounds there. And um, I've been out there to uh, Boise, Idaho, I believe, where I went when I was younger. And uh, the elevation does play a big toll. Um, Really, it, it, you have to watch the height of your, your shots and uh, which way the wind's blowing. Because if the wind gets a hold of it and it's you know a little bit thinner, she's going to fly. Is the goal to ultimately go pro one day? And if so, how much is, is this tournament going to kind of impact your overall decision? Um, my decision has already kind of been made. I'm leaning. I want to do this for a living. So it um, just happens that, you know, I... Uh, I qualified for this tournament, and you know it's just another stepping stone to where I want to get. So, like I said, as long as I stay, you know, positive and focused on what I want to do, I mean, the sky is not the limit. Just keep on going. So, entering the uh, the qualifying tournament is this something that, in your mind, was was realistic, or did you kind of exceed your own expectations? Well, during uh, this past season at IPFW, you know, I started, you know, playing decent golf here and there, but like I said, there was that certain part in my game, long game, that, you know, was causing, you know, doubles and bogeys. And, um, you know, I couldn't make enough birdies to compensate. You know, it's okay if you make bogeys, but you got to make birdies, you know, make up for that, that lost number. Um, 
So, you know, I wasn't real surprised that I got in because, you know, I've, I've been working on those areas. So, I mean, it's just been a total game changer. So just one day at a time, just keep getting better.